We reached out to the sheriff today. Uh, the determination here that the death was a suicide and don't plan to reopen the case without new evidence. Pressure though being applied by the family with hopes that money could lead to that evidence. With a backdrop of pictures and evidence boards from the Rebecca Zahal death civil trial, a reward aimed at forcing a criminal prosecution has been announced. The family has decided to put up $100,000 for information leading, leading to the arrest and conviction of Adam Shacknai. Rebecca Zahal died eight years ago on the grounds of the famous Spreckles Mansion in Coronado. She was discovered bound, gagged, and nude, hanging from a bedroom balcony at the home she shared with her boyfriend, multimillionaire Jonah Shacknai. Jonah's brother Adam, who was staying in a guest house there, was the one who called 911. The death was ruled a suicide, blamed on Rebecca's depression after Jonah's six-year-old son Max was terribly hurt in a fall down a massive staircase a few days before and who died days later. She had been babysitting. But suicide? Friends and family said no. She was a fighter. Uh, she was a devout Christian and this isn't something she would have done. Greer pointed to fingerprints and blood evidence. Rebecca was actually using this knife to try and cut herself free while she was bound and gagged and still alive. There was a polygraph test Greer's expert said indicated deception, but no arrest, no criminal trial, though the family is convinced that Adam Shacknai killed her. It's still very hard for us, so um, it's as if it's just happened yesterday still. A civil lawsuit was filed and a jury awarded $5 million in damages. Shaq Nye was incensed by the verdict and the insurance company settlement, and he denied all. I wouldn't waste my time killing Rebecca Zahal. I never touched her, and I was in that guest house, and that's all I can tell you. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's still being argued, though. Anybody looking at this evidence would say it's murder. We have a sheriff who says not only that it could be murder, he thinks that it could be suicide, he's convinced it is suicide. And in saying that, he's either lying or delusional. Greer quoted the trial judge as saying it's not unreasonable to still ask who killed Rebecca Zahal. The family offering a reward, pleading for new evidence. I will fight this as long as I live. Response late this afternoon from the Sheriff's Department. The uh, homicide unit conducted an objective and thorough investigation without assumption as to the cause of death. The facts led to the conclusion that Ms. Sahau took her own life.